Hey, it's uh, Ron here from Price It Software. So this video is going to show you how the bi-directional artwork approval system works uh, in Price It Master X9. Um, it's pretty cool and we're really excited about it. Uh, before I get into that part of it, I want to show you um, how the email account uh, are set up and how uh, when we send out the emails, how it's pulled uh, for the different email settings. So I'm logged into the system right now as Ronnie, you can tell up here in the uh, right corner of the screen. So where that data comes from is under users and these are the different uh, users we have set up and this is uh, my account and uh, here are the email settings uh, for me. All right, so now to send out the uh, artwork approval thing, so I'm gonna click on, this is screen print order, so I'm gonna click on screen print and I'm going to uh, uh, insert a piece of artwork here so I got Corel Draw up and I'm gonna go with, uh, here. Here's my design, copy it to the clipboard, come back to price it and right click paste. All right, so now that's a tied to the order, but I wanna send out, create a proof to send out to my customer. So here we hit create proof and then I'm gonna email this off uh, to my client. So this is artwork at Perfect Image VT. That's actually us, but anyways, it's sent through Network Solutions. All right, so it's the design's been sent, and our indicator up here uh, tells us that. So I'm going to bring up Network Solutions here and see if we get that email. Might take a couple seconds. All right, here it is. We got two of them because I got a BBC uh, going back to myself. So here's the link your customer will get, and. This will direct them to a website that has their design on it. So this is actually in a, in a web browser right now, um, not in Price It. All right, so this has one design on it. I'm gonna disapprove. I'll, I'll actually, I'll hit uh, check check later, and it's gonna because there's only one design. It's gonna log me out. Now, what happens if um, uh, there's more than one design for that order. So I'm gonna come back here and notice this indicator has changed. Uh, the design will be looked at, was looked at on what you call it. All right, so I'm gonna put in a back design here. So I'm gonna bring CrowdDraw back up and I'm gonna copy my back design and bring, uh, price it, right click paste. I'm gonna hit the create proof on this one and I'm gonna e email this off as well. Um, and it send it through network solutions. Okay, that. All right. So now I'll bring up uh, our um, email client and refresh it here. And there's our new email. The same link actually because nothing's changed. But uh, go ahead and click on that link. Your customer click on this link. Now, this was, again, the web browser. And notice it says we have two designs waiting for approval. So here's our front. I'm gonna hit approve to this one. Uh, approved by, uh, yeah, sure, Tim. And now here's my back design. I'm gonna disapprove this. Um, and then I'm gonna say disapprove. Now I'm gonna say the reason why. So what changes would you like to uh, make? Uh, let's see, G H A N G H. Uh, or whatever, let's hit submit, and then I hit okay to that. Uh, and then it redirects us to our website. And now back in our program, you'll notice that this indicator up here has changed on this back design, and it also tags it as needs work, and I can see the history uh, of what was submitted to us. Now back in the order entry on here, we uh, this one's proved, this one says needs work. So once I make the changes here, uh, I'll take uh, this, I'm gonna copy this. And I'm gonna just change it to uh, brat. And uh, just whatever. Copy it. Now once I make a, a, a change here, and I'm gonna kill it here, paste it there, and then this. And it's gonna, uh, it's gonna sense that it's new artwork. So I'm gonna say update. And then, um, so there's our change. Now, when the customer, um, they could, even if they didn't have this, uh, a new link, and if they were on their website, they would see that. Um, so let's bring up uh, this. 
I'm going to go back on. Just going to refresh it. So they should find one order that's waiting for approval. And here it is. And I'm going to hit approve on that. Approve. Yes. All right. Cool. And now uh, bring back up price it. And now notice that our, it's, our status has been changed to approve. Now back in the order entry, uh, both of our indicators are approved. Up here is also a, a, a nice little visual of uh, screen print art front and back, both of them approved. And also it shows up in the jobs in progress section too, uh, front and back is uh, green highlighted. And you'll be surprised to see that that also holds true in the uh, job scheduler. So uh, this is our order that's scheduled for the 30th. And down here is showing that both pieces of artwork have been approved by the customer. Thanks for tuning in.